fam, welcome back to the channel, Juju here. Uh, now today we're going to be playing some competitive matches. Now this is in the Farquad Olympics. Big uh, thanks to Sexual Predator uh, for organizing this this uh, tournament. It's It's got a very interesting idea behind it. I'm just going to put it in slow-mo here. Um, the Farquad Olympics is pretty much uh, a best of three all rounds. So I'm coming up against uh, uh, Sigurd Snake in the Eye. And he is... Uh, from the AIMA clan, and we're basically going to play three matches. We got two factions that have been selected for us previously, so that's uh, Epirus and Massilia. So it seems like a pretty good ma matchup. Um, I feel like Epirus doesn't have, doesn't really have amazing tools uh, to win the game. So I wasn't feeling confident in this first match. I thought I'd try something different, see if Pikes work again. <laughs> um, I rarely bring pikes just because they don't seem to work too much, but we'll see how it goes. So game one, going to be playing as Epirus, and uh, Sigurd is going to be playing as the Massilians. Now he's got a pretty nice formation here, very wide, so he is definitely equipped to kind of get around my flank. Uh, he does have one, two, three, four, five Massilian Hoplites in the center, two Levy Freeman out in this flank, one Celtic Slinger, two Axe Warriors, Tarantine Cav, Massilian Cav, Hippias Lancer, so very nice little wings. Pretty much the same thing is happening over here. Uh, except he only has one X warrior and yeah, he's, his Hippias Lancer is a general. So what have I got? What have I done? What am I going to do? Oh yeah, in the in the tournament, uh, Farquaad was like, you have to have like one match that has weather effects turned on. So we thought we would give uh, Snow a try. Um, my voice is heaps husky as well because I'm fucking hungover as shit. So hopefully we can get through this uh, without puking everywhere. Three mercenary ready and slings at the front, one normal slinger, so definitely have the ranged advantage. I was kind of counting on that. Uh, I got four levy pikemen in the center. Don't want to spend too much money on, on levy, on, on pikes, so I usually just pick the cheapest ones. Uh, I've got three Thessalians and one Hellenic royal cav. He's going to push with his Massilian cav, and I'm going to answer with my uh, Thessalian seal if he'll, pu he'll pull away, and he does. Uh, I have three spears out in the flanks, uh, mercenary sand knights, three of them and two mercenary Italian swords, <clears throat> just to kind of like slowed, uh, slow down his, um, his you know, traveling around my flank here. So Sigurd doesn't really know what to do. He's got his Massilian Cav right up here. He doesn't know, I think, what he's gonna do here. And I take the initiative to just charge him straight up. And I'm gonna take some shots with my three air spears. So I'm kind of forcing um, Sigurd to, to kind of micro on two different fronts. He's getting really wired at this point, as you can see, like he's got, um, a pretty focused uh, attention in this in this area and also in this area as well. So it seemed like my timing was good. Like while I was microing over here, uh, uh, he was doing the same kind of stuff and I was being more proactive than reactive uh, for a lot of the battle. So at the moment, I see a, a good opportunity to charge his uh, Levy Freeman, take them out of the fight fairly quickly. I'm going to bring my Thessalians back without taking too many losses and I managed to destroy his Massilian Cav, um, you know, mostly. I turn all of my slingers off fire at will and I turned off skirmish mode as well. Whether or not that's a good idea, we'll see what, you know, I don't really know if it was a good idea. But I didn't manage to get them caught, which was great, so. He does have axe warriors coming around this flank and he's going to charge into my three air spears. I'm going to have to try and run away. I don't really have an answer to these axe warriors. And I can see he's trying to get around here with his Hippias Lancers as well. Over on this flank, I am charging his uh, Levy Freeman once again with my Italian swords. I have to get them out of the way if I'm going to you know, have any effect on any of the other units. Uh, big mistake by uh, by Sigurd, he actually charges into my pikes with these uh, Massilian Hot Potatoes. In, over time, they will definitely get through my levy pikes, but it's not the most effective use of, uh, of pikes ever, really. Um, I think I was firing at his general with a lot of my slingers at this point. Uh, my pikes are dropped. Yep, so I'm, I'm kind of taking out the Hippias Lancer general. And effectively, I'm blocking out this whole part of the of the of the map, really, just with one Italian sword, um, which is great. I do get a charge in here with my Thessalians, and I'm pretty weak at this point. 27 Thessalians against 80 Hippias Lancers. So I'm going to use this opportunity to get my Slingers and just uh, fire in on this uh, position. He does have Tarantines up the back. Don't really know what they're doing. So I've got engagements that are pretty good. This is not going to go too well, but I'm going to put these uh, Thoreas into, into square formation pretty soon. And they'll last a while. Um, I, in, in this match, I was really, really relying on, uh, my opponent to not pull through. Um, and, and luckily, uh, Sigurd is a good sport. He, di he didn't pull through for the whole match. So, uh, he was definitely, um, 
it was a pretty enjoyable experience playing against Sigurd. He, he's a decent dude. Um, not salty at all. Or at least he didn't show it. <laughs> so I managed to catch his Massilian Cav here. I'm wrecking his uh, Levy Frame, which is great. Uh, he's kind of chewing through my Levy Pikes, but uh, it's taking them ages, which is good, because then I can win out the flanks. So I'm starting to make some progress over here. Uh, Sam Knights are chewing through his levies. He he commits his uh, Tarantine Cav, which is kind of interesting. And these Axe Warriors are actually like struggling hardcore. Uh, I don't know if it's my, my Pikes that are getting the kills, but they are just getting chewed up big time. It might, might be my Slingers, actually. So um, well, at this point, all of my, my Pikes break. Um, and that's okay. I've just committed my, my extra troops at the back. These Sam Knights are going to get, get into combat with those Missilians. And I'm going to start uh, retreating with my slingers and, and that kind of thing. I'm always making sure I have at least, you know, a couple of cav around my slingers so that I can defend if I need to. Over here, I get a good charge in. Uh, he didn't get, doesn't really get a, a, a counter charge at all. And then I see his, uh, he actually could bring his uh, Tarantines around the edge here. So I'm going to have to try and get through this uh, engagement really quickly and get my Thessalians into that, into that man. You can see I'm clicking attack orders against the Celtic slinger, but um, I'm going to change pretty soon. Over here, I do have his Epeus Lancers locked up with my own uh, general and uh, and the Thessalian Cav. And I'm just going to make sure that I can take this guy out of the fight. I thought that I was firing on it. Maybe I wasn't. So this is pretty annoying. He's got his Missilian Hoplites through the gap and he's just going to push me, which is probably the right decision. Um, I'm not going to be able to to do a whole lot against this uh, Missilian Hoplites. So I'm going to try and spread out my units and uh, make sure I can get some pretty good angles to shoot back at him. This Thorea Spear is doing some work, man. I'm, I'm tying up a Missilian Cav. I've got this Levy Freeman that I'm kind of beating in combat, which is great. Um, so this was actually like a very good um, flank for me. I'm really glad that I brought the Thorea Spears uh, in the end. Managed to finish off his um, General, which is great. So at this point, I'm just going to be pulling back and getting my Slingers. And I kind of kind of focus on the late game where I can kite and pull back. So he does have his Celtic Slingers. And I'm going to get one of my Thessalians and just go, go on a bit of a wrecking fest and destroy all these units. These Sam Knights, I don't think I got a counter charge at this point. No. Okay, so I got charged by the Missilian Hoppertes. Those guys actually have some pretty like decent charge bonus as well, so probably not too good for me. Anyway, I'm going to get a charge into the back of these uh, Missilian Hoppertes, and then uh, I'll use this opportunity when he's uh, when he's stopped to get my Slingers and, and firing on this position. So I've got these two uh, Slingers firing back on it. And I've also got my other slinger over here getting some awesome shots into the back of this Axe Warrior. Just because I know this um, this is not going to go well for me in the long run, I don't think. Uh, my general just finished off the Levy Freeman out in this flank. And it looks like we're making some pretty good uh, headway with this Axe Warrior as well. Uh, this Thorea Spear is not going to be able to hold up forever. But I think I did bring a Rodian Slinger and we are firing. Yep, so we're going to be firing in on this position into the back of this one Axe Warrior, which is great. Um, at this point, um, he's got a lot of units that I'm just trying to mop up, make sure that they are off the field. Uh, I want to make sure he doesn't have any mobility or ranged advantages uh, or ranged units. Uh, just so I can do this kind of thing. Where I can just uh, surround and destroy this Massilian Hoppate. These guys aren't going to last for uh, too much longer. And I'm just using my Thessalian Cav to uh, kind of cycle in and out. Managed to chew through that uh, Axe Warrior over there. And now I'm going to start firing into the back of this Massilian Hoppate, which is great. Um, at this point, I do have the Thessalian Cav free, and I was kind of deciding on what target to go for. Um, I saw Red Morale over here, didn't realize it was actually my unit that's in Red, red Morale, so I'm going to go for a quick cheeky charge into the back of this Missilian Hoppate, pick up a couple of kills, and then uh, bail on out of there before these Levy Freeman come into the combat and, uh, and wreck me with their uh, precursors. So this Missilian Hoppate is struggling hardcore. I'm getting some awesome like shots right in the back. Um, I noticed that Sigurd... Um, Whenever he has to play in a large area, he kind of gets a little bit um, like his micro fails whenever he has to micro over a large amount of uh, or a large space. So by spreading out the battlefield, it was it, it kind of worked out to my in my uh, my favor really. So I'm going to sandwich this axe warrior, nice little tasty axe warrior sandwich, and it looks like most of the engagements are kind of wrapping up. He does, I mean. I, I am really happy with this build. I've got a lot of units that last forever. Like these Thorea Spears and Sand Knight Warriors are just so tanky. Like they can just stay in the fight for ages. And that gives me the time to use my Cav and use my Skirmishes to uh, to get good shots in where I need to. And you can see on the battlefield, I just have so many like units left on the field that um, my opponent couldn't really, uh, couldn't really deal with it um, in late game because he didn't really hold on to his Cav 
Although he did have a lot of cab, two Tarant Tarantine cab, two Massilians, and two Hippias Lancers. That was really interesting that I didn't really see those guys uh, at the end of the match. But yeah, the Sand Knight's doing great. They did excellent. This uh, Thraya Spear just wrecking through a number of units out in the flank. Uh, the Levy Pikemen also holding out for, for an extended period of time, which is great. Um, Italian Swordsmen just wrecking uh, Levy Freeman left, right, and center. But the Slingers, man, the Slingers got, um, you know, probably the lion's share of the kills here uh, for the most part, 100, on, 100 plus on all of them. Uh, and that, those kills were like on Missile and Hopotes and that kind of stuff, so single XP chevrons. Uh, my Thessalians and Hellenic Royal Cav, this, this is what makes Epirus great, I think, is the Thessalians. So XP rank 2, 250 kills, almost 300 on the gen, which is great. Uh, I'm a, it was pretty good, I really liked his formation and I loved his army build as well. Uh, it was just a shame that these um, Missile and Hopotes weren't able to kind of be super effective in the center. Um, under the continued fire of the Slingers as well, they, they just couldn't stand up to it, but... But yeah, thanks so much, dude, for the game. Sigurd, snake in the eye, I'll keep an eye out for him again, because it was an absolute pleasure to play against you, uh, if you're watching. Um, but yeah, that's the first match, we've got another match coming up. So that's one to Juju Bear, aka Bear Kev. And, um, Sigurd, snake, we're gonna swap over, uh, factions. So next game, I'm gonna be playing as Massilia, and he's gonna be playing as Epirus. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one. You do best signing out. Peace.